Hey everyone, welcome back to this video series on the Postman tutorials. So today we are going to talk about the code generator in Postman. Now, I may have briefly touched upon this topic in my earlier videos, but we are going to talk about it in more details. Okay, so for this purpose, I'm just using a weather API request, right? So this is the request URL, which has got two query parameters. One is the city name and the other is the app ID or the API keys, right? So using this, I'm able to get um, the weather details for a particular city and this is the response which contains uh, the coordinates, the weather details, ID, main description, and some other details, right? So this is the response. Now, if I want to generate the code for this, right? So this might be useful, uh, particularly when you are doing some front-end development for your application, right? Uh, if you want to integrate this particular API request into your code, all right? So Postman provide, provides you with a code generator where you can generate code for many different languages, right? So on the right-hand side, you will see there is a code option. And when, once you click on that, it will show you uh, the code snippets for different languages, right? Not only HTTP, HTTP but uh, also Java, JavaScript, uh, Python, Ruby, Shell, uh, C, Curl, right? So there are many languages and Postman keeps on adding these languages. Um, I have seen in the last few months, they have added many different languages, right? So um, apart from generating the, the code for different languages, Postman also provides you with a cool different, uh, cool features, right? Uh, especially in the settings part. So if I go to a particular language like JavaScript jQuery and I go to settings, um, if you see now the indentation is just uh, one or two here, right? But if uh, you are following a particular coding style in your application or in your front end development code, right? Um, you can follow, you can apply that same settings here. Right, so so that the coding style remains same, and you don't need to spend time uh, changing it when you are integrating this code into your uh, application code. Right, so for that purpose, you can go to settings. Uh, you can see here the indentation count is two, and the indentation type is space right now. So you can change it to tab, and we can change the indentation to four. Right, so that will increase the indentation in the generated code as well. Right, so this is pretty useful. Um, where you don't need to change anything. You just need to uh, copy it from here and just paste it into your uh, application wherever you are writing the complete code, right? So a pretty useful feature if you are looking for or working in the code generator for Postman, right? The other thing which I wanted to show you is like how you can use this generated code in the real world scenario, right? So for that, um, I would be using curl, okay? Now I have installed curl in my uh, windows. Um, you can do it, it's pretty easy. Uh, just search for curl for windows and just go ahead and it's a proper installation. So it's uh, it will install it on your windows and then you can. So curl is a, a command line tool uh, which is used to transfer data, right? So you can also send HTTP requests and get the response in curl. It's in your command line, okay? So uh, coming to settings, uh, I want to run this code in my windows. So I would be changing this continuation character, which which is caret for windows and also the code type, right? So it is single or double. Uh, if we want to run it in command.exe, uh, which is windows, we should be using double, right? So we'll uh, convert these things for windows. And when I go back to the generated code, now uh, it's the correct format, which can be used to run it um, in the curl command line tool, okay? So what I'll do is I'll copy this code and I'll go to my command line, right? So, and I'll simply paste it here. You'll see it's a simple curl command. And when I hit enter, you will see the response as the exact same response, which we get in Postman. Uh, the same response we can get in curl as well, 
right? So this was a very simple example of how you can use the generated code to um, to do the same operation in other command line tools or into in your development itself, right? So it's a pretty useful uh, code generator, which is pro which is a feature provided by Postman. Now, not all the languages are available here in this code snippets. Although Postman is keeping on adding uh, these different languages in the code generator, you can as well contribute. It, it's an open source project. So uh, that particular code is present in the GitHub. So you can, if you wish to, and if you are capable enough to write your own code generator in a language which is not present in Postman and you want that feature, you can also contribute into the Postman code generator, right? So this is the GitHub page. Uh, they have provided you with the documentation on what the different languages they support and how you can get started um, and make your own contribution in terms of the other languages which are not present in Postman. Okay, so you can also contribute into this particular feature. Okay, so um, that was all about this uh, particular video where I wanted to show you how you can generate code for different languages and you can use that particular generated code to perform different op, um, I mean, use different command line tools like curl to execute that particular generated code or use it into your um, development app, which you are building. Right, so I hope you like this video. Um, and if you like, then please hit the like button. Um, if you have any questions or feedback, please leave it in the comment section. And in the coming up videos, I'll be showing you more Postman features where you can learn the different functionalities which uh, or features which Postman provides. Okay, so keep watching and keep sharing these videos uh, with you, within your network. So. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.